Um, Interceptors attack fast, which means the Carapace upgrade uh, pays off more down the road. It's, it's not like it's not a bad move. Like plus two Carapace here is is pretty good. I mean, it's always going to be better than nothing, but it's not as common in the ZVP. Uh, nice little back and forth here. That Immortal is going to get caught out here, and I think this base is going to have to be forfeit here. So that's going to be a trade on both sides. Workers, though, are going to be the detriment to Hero here, as he is going to lose 12 workers here. And this army is going to be uh, cleaned up here. Oh my gosh, there's just so many Zerglings here. Dark is going to be everywhere all at once. He's in the third. He's in the fourth. He's in the natural. He's got more units streaming across. I mean, this army hasn't been dealt with just yet. The Lings basically just ran across the map. He's into the main as well. 50 workers have gone down so far. I mean, there's just been no response here on the opposite side of the map, and Immortals are not going to do it. The Warpins back at home are just non-existent, and now as Pylons start getting picked off, finally the recall is going to happen here, but I just don't know what it's going to be recalling back to. Unfortunately here, Dark has just completely devastated the main base of Hero at this point. Oh my gosh, there's so many Zerglings here retreating back home. I mean, yeah, there's going to be some valuable tech here that gets picked off. And sure, a couple of bases have gone down for Dark, but there are currently zero probes for Hero. There's zero. I mean, there's a Nexus. There's a singular Nexus. But the fact that there is no economy... Oh, a couple of Destructor Shots do end up landing on some Zerglings, but when you just have so many, I don't think it matters. Oh, <laughs> This is a st oh, the army advantage is still in Hero's favor, and this is a pretty good army against mostly Zergling production here. Plus three is still on the way, though. It has not been interfered with. Plus three finishing along with plus two Carapace would actually be would actually be a a wild situation here for Dark, who's going to be able to get just capital amounts of damage out of this Zergling force, and it is allowed to complete. So these Zerglings are fast and they are strong there's no more nexus there are no more nexi on the map so pro production is done i think dark's got this though he's got the base in the lo lower left hand corner he is going to lose that hive which is uh, pretty pretty rough but the fact that hero has no probes and no means of building additional probes is kind of a telling tale here <laughs> This war prison, though. I mean, Hero's going to be able to focus on all of his micro. He cannot afford to lose this Colossus. He can't. He just can't. The Colossus has got to stay alive here. But there, it's just these two pylons. That's it. That's all that's left. Can the Archons do it? I mean, the answer is no. There's a base in the lower right-hand corner as well. Dark's got this. Dark's got this all figured out. He's got 42 workers here. So many of these drones are, have just been like running rampant across the map. Hero still has units, but he can't afford it to, to leave. Like this, this is a gamble. I mean, this is all he has left at this point. He does have a sizable amount of units that are able to still defend back at home, but this Colossus has 19 health and no shields right now. Oh, this is so goofy. <gasps> There's ultras. Okay, the ultras win it. <laughs> oh, I absolutely love the Ultra Den. Last second here. Three Ultras. I mean, Ultras trade really well against both Colossus and Archons. I think these three should just should just go deal damage. I mean, this base in the lower left-hand corner did get picked off. That is sizable. But here comes Dark. Oh, my God. He can clean both of them. Does have one immortal though? Is that gonna be enough? No, I think it's gonna be ah, so close and Dark knows it too. <laughs> what a game. What a game number one between these two players. This is amazing. So how many how many ultras are left? I mean there should be. No! The other two ultras got killed by the other army! Hero! Did Hero squeak this out? I think he did. I mean, there is a base in the lower right-hand corner, and there's a spawning pool coming up. If Hero finds it, it's over. And he does. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable damage. I mean, this is the one 
building that a hero has left on the map. Now, theoretically, Lings could get in there and deal damage, but, I mean, Hero's got more than enough army to deal with this. Oh. If you're dark, you got to be feeling crappy right now. Yeah, and I, and I think Hero is... Uh, actually, I, I don't know what that means. But it's got to be Hero saying, Good out. Okay, we got another spawning pool going down here. These drones trying to get as much humanly done as possible. I mean, theoretically, I think Dark could drag this out to a draw, but uh, uh, this Archon, man, this Archon is going to wreak havoc on all these light units. Here's got to be careful, though. This is his only forward army right now. Okay. Oh wow. Oh, oh. Ooh. Nah, this army cannot afford to go in there. Those zerglings have to stay alive at this point. There's more there's more hatchery production, which is about the best case scenario for dark as humanly possible right now. But I mean it's just constant repositioning. Oh uh, yeah. Oh, okay, he's gonna try and wait for the He's going to try and wait for this hatchery to get killed because he's going to have access to those units. In fact, he's going to jump a little bit early here. He's going to get a full surround on the Archon. This is a great protection here. Meanwhile, though, bottom left-hand corner, he does lose some more workers. Another Archon here working away at the hatchery in the lower left, but keeping this hatchery alive is so valuable here. This is a much better defended position for Dark than it is for an attacking position for Hero. So if Dark has to give up this base in the lower left-hand corner, this is an okay thing, but he's got to be able to cancel it. No, he's just going to let it go. Okay. He's going to count on the fact that this is... Uh, a better position for him to get into. The Lings are going to go across the map. He thinks this is his time, but there's still way too many units here to try and dive on in. So Dark has to realize that and back off. Yes, he does. Okay. This is not the situation he needs. This Archon should be able to survive against all of those units. Not a problem. This Zastra is going to go down as well. Unbelievable. I can't believe that we're still in this game. This is This is wild. Hero has one building. He is this one singular pylon. At this point, Dark still has a hatchery here. He's got a little bit to mine from. Okay, yeah, he's got enough. There's about a thousand minerals here, roughly. Uh, yeah, a little less. A little less than that. Oh, these are nice. <laughs> ah. Dark's going to try and go for the top left-hand corner here as well. Oh, these Archons are going to get so much valuable damage here. And the War Prism's not going to be able to juggle both types of units here, so the Colossus goes down. That's a huge win here for Dark. If he can get this last remaining Archon, I, I think this actually becomes a draw. Well, no. I, I think it can actually win. I, I mean, I think Dark is in the position to stay alive. I mean, Hero can only hope for a draw at this point. If uh, if Hero loses this final Warp Prism in unit, it's, it's over. It's absolutely over. Dark will just win. He's got way too many Zerglings at this point. He's going to be able to pick up a, a, a Stalker. Oh, he grabs a Stalker! And he's going to grab the Immortal as well! Hero! 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 Oh, Hero is going to fight so hard here. He's got one Archon back. Protecting the final structure here. Because remember, one of the win conditions of StarCraft 2 is you have to defeat all of your opponent's structures here. He does lose the final Immortal. And the War Prism goes down as well. That means the Archon has two health. It has two health remaining. Are the Queen's going to target it down? It does. GG is called Dark. Completely holds on here in the Slugfest. Game number one. Wow, what a game. But even still, Haz is ahead in workers, has that really fast third. It's a good thing he does, because the damage otherwise would have been pretty painful. And Mass Blink is probably going to be the follow-up. We've seen Haas play this there you go. Uh, to about the 20-minute uh, mark in some of his games. Uh, Haas apparently not watching that. Just missed this Banshee not flying the, in. Not the tightest of security at, at Camp Haas, I would say. They're, <laughs> they're there. They know what they're supposed to do. But do they see it? Well, do they, though? 
Hass is the guy who leaves the front door to his apartment open yeah. to try and lure thieves in. Like, you know, he doesn't he doesn't lock everything down. He wants to lure, lure you into that messy scenario. And once again, a few probes going down here. A big army grouping up at the front, but uh, this is a little bit nasty. Uh, yeah, three more probes do go down. The worker count very equal. Hass is still epically ahead in unit count, but is that, uh, is that mass un unupgraded zealot, Jeff? Does... <laughs> I think he thought he was making charge. Oh my god. But he made Blink. Well, Blink finishes, and now he's doing charge. Okay. Here's the thing about Haz, by the way. Notice the production <laughs> tab. No more probes being made. Because that's he's like, I'm th thank you for killing them, because that's like two pylons I would have had to make. <laughs> he is just... Uh, He's just very different, right? Yeah, like this yeah. is, he went from I mean, plus one attack, now he's doing plus one armor. Okay, I think this was actually on purpose, right? I think he, he just knows that he has such an army advantage, he wants to just win the moment yeah. time comes out of his wall in. And even with slow zealots with the force fields, he can trap the army. <laughs> I mean, it very well could you be have a to mistake. build probes for that, though. He's taking a fourth nexus, yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah, he'll transfer probes as his minerals by <laughs> now. All right. Time is worried about the force fields and the flank. So he's saying, look, I 100% lose if I get force fields behind my bio. Yeah. So he's being very careful. He's keeping the bio behind the mines. And that's the smart decision here. He's just being super careful. But he is going to move down now. Oh, no. As is going to pull the trigger. He's going to go up that ramp. But that is a <laughs> death zone. You cannot break that ramp, Ass. Well, he's learning that now. He's going to back away. But this is something that Pig was talking about. There's no storm behind this. There's no Colossus, there's no splash damage whatsoever. Nice it's got to be this up, fight right nice here. Nice pickups, the Zealot flanks are coming in, but that is just too much bio. The upgrades, even on either side, and time takes a 50 supply lead. Just reads his opponent's play perfectly. Oh. Doesn't go on autopilot at all. And he says, I know what you're doing, and I know how to respond to it perfectly. Only now does the Templar Archives go down. Haas just stuck in a one-track mind throughout that mid-game, just trying to force the issue, and time did not give him the opportunity. I want to point out the medevac count, by the way, for a Terran player, not super, super high. So a couple of overstims, and this could really turn against him as well. Stalkers and Zealots counterattacking across the map right now. Haas needs to buy time. He can't fight this army front on. He's got to pull time home, but time, I think, I might have enough units to hold the main ramp. He's going to lose a lot of workers in his natural, though. Yeah, he's going to ferry back behind his wall in. Haas wants a base trade here. His storm is almost ready. He's got Zealots hitting the third at the same time. That tank will not be able to defend that. The main base is being breached. Haas, despite this game going terribly awry, looks like he's being decisive enough. Suddenly, when put behind, he knows exactly what to do. Time Time is way slower to get in here with the base trade. Pig, the storm is about to finish here. If he's got some Templar and can land any storms at all, that could actually turn this game in as a huge victory for him. I think it is just the one Templar so far, but this army that's out on the yeah. map for time is really, really scary. A few high Templar landing those storms could be big. There are ghosts out, and there's still a very scary oh army God. for both sides. Those window mine shots in the north of the base just took out about six or seven zealots. Uh, a lot of Hass's army did go down, but the production has been breached. Hass's production still here for a moment, but oh, one big zealot warp in. That might be all he needs. He's got Psy Storm. He's got a few stalkers to deal with the Liberators as well. And every second that goes by, Hass is able to build more units. He should not be engaging down there, though. No, a little bit of a misstep. Yeah, he just kind of sloppily A moves some units down there. The fight inside's going okay, but it's, it's the micro battle that's occurring here where the Liberator's picking off some key units. It's this right here, though. Is there going to be any storms? He actually backed off. He's got the two Templar, but there are still ghosts out here, and if they can land any EMP or sni snipes here, it's it. Oh, this oh. storm is kind of a whiff. The first yeah. one's not great. Oh, the EMP misses as well. One good, storm, good storm goes down, takes out a bunch of the Marines. Of course, a lot of the bio will be able to heal itself up over time with these medevacs and the Zealots going down. There's not enough firepower. Hasta's production has been breached. He will not be able to defend his main base any longer. It is going to go into a base trade. And with no flying units out on the map right now for Hass, it could be a forced draw or a win. Uh, time, I don't think he can lose this game anymore unless there's a Phoenix on the map. And he's going to try to relocate to the middle over there. And his army's stronger. I really do have to say for time. I, he is down a single armor upgrade. So that's kind of the... Con well, actually, looking at that, it's a lot. It's going to come down yeah. like the Liberators. If he can land EMP center mass on the Protoss army, it's lights out. He only does have the four medevacs and two of which are really low in health. It's actually very close. I mean, time has to start thinking about the draw right now because it's still a very scary Protoss army. It's scary for both has sides. Has money for a Nexus. 
Oh, he does have money for a Nexus there. Yeah. Okay. And he, there built and he has there a bunch of probes too. Yeah, so. yeah, he's got a few probes. All right, there we go. Uh, I mean, he's got ghosts. He's got EMPs. All the High Templar are gone off the map, right? So this is going to be very dicey. If the Liberators are siege, there's no way to win this fight as Hass. No. If yeah, the Liberators are liberators. sieged. And, oh, he does ooh, have Storm. Okay, a couple of Sly Storms coming in there from the left-hand side. And these Liberator Zones, the Siege Tank. Oh, ooh, very nice. I EMP. think you got to pull back. You don't need to fight here. It, it, like, yeah. I think oh, oh, the EMP gosh. is huge. All over the High Templar. And he's going to force the fight. Now the Marines are coming oh, forward. Oh, flanking where did High that come Templar. from? Very nice. He's just got to buy time. He's got to regenerate energy now. Those High Templar need to get more energy up. Time is going to take forever to get any production up. Uh, both of them are. And the High Templar are the more uh, powerful renewable resource here. Yeah. If they can just renew energy, get a few more Sly Storms, they should be able to do this. And yeah, I think both these barracks will die as well. Man, Hass was so far behind in this game as well after that. He was so yeah. far ahead and then so far behind. This has been a real seesaw. But down in the, in the base trade, Hast is very, very on point. He's got a full base mining now. He can unsupply block himself very oh, soon. What's in the main base, by the way? Is it all depowered? Yes. Yeah. But he's okay. still got the tech. He can actually... He has a Templar Archive. He has a Templar Archives, yeah. He, if he gets any gateways at all, he can actually just start making Templar. Ooh, I mean, if he could Except even he take has a two gas, so never there, mind. That would be crazy. But uh, definitely right now, it's just okay. Widowmind did get a shot off there, I believe. You gotta declump the Templar, man. Yeah. Is it just the one ghost? If we could get the units tab up, by the way, that would be the Yeah, point. yeah, three High Templar versus one ghost. So definitely, uh, you know, a good couple of snipes, good couple of EMPs, good couple of storms could change the game. Widowmind's going to come in here and try to harass, and time just seeing this, it puts the pressure on. He realizes, wait a second, I've got to I've try and deal with this. These Stork is going to try and harass from the high ground. Very cute moves by Haas. Yep, and it's a problem because it's going to be the whole army moving across the map. And, I, it, like, he could actually just jump down and snipe that orbital, by the way, and really, yeah. again, have this game. Oh, Storm's landing on top of Liberators. Oh, Not they're out of energy, though. They're out of energy. The High Templar just walked to their death. Oh, the Marine geez. Marauder take them out. There's nothing that shoots up on this side of the map for Hass. And he's running the Zealots. Oh, no. Three shots oh, here. no. Time finds the angle. He knows there is nothing to fight. The Liberators on this side of the map right now. Hass. Might have let this one slip away. He doesn't have any production up right now. He's trying to sneak his probes back to the north side of the map, oh, realizing this base is going to be evacuated. Gets one Liberator, but he's got the weaker army now, I feel like. He's actually running for good. Yeah. The probes went across the map, by the way. They're kind of making their way back up there. They're not mining. Yeah, he's going to... This he's... is just a duck-duck-goose game right now, and has yeah. has the goose. Right now, things are getting oh. very scrappy. There's still so many medevacs just able to heal this forever. Their ability to just heal nonstop is crazy. Now that the High Templar are gone, I mean, damaging the libs looked nice at the time, but it opened up those High Templar to go down. They were not being protected. Time going to bring in a Liberator on the mineral line as well. The crisis management in this game has been off the chain. Those probes trying to evacuate and hide. Hass is just going to try and play a very slow comeback. But honestly, that's a long time before that's going to kick in. And I think our Terran player here is oh. going to realize something's up. Just chasing these units across the map. Liberator count is just down to the two. But as you point out, the Medivax is the big concern for me. He can keep stimming and just keep up the aggression. And that army is so much stronger. He went up and took his natural again, by the way, which is a depleted base. So even when this finishes, I think it'll be kind of hard for time to figure out that he has it. But the yep. income that comes from that base is going to be really unimpressive. Yeah, I mean, this command center is going to be lifted pick, off. If he, he could just win. That, that could be huge. Where's There's, the SCVs? There is a barracks floating on the right-hand side in the oh, dead space. Oh, all right. Um, Safe from that. That command center taking a ton of damage, though. He's sending a stalker to the high ground as well. It is burning right now. All the depots going down. Time took a long period over there on the left-hand side of the map to clean that up. Oh, and it's on fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the barracks that's, that's safe here. Yeah, yeah. There's there's no way to eliminate time because that barracks is out of reach until Hass rebuilds his tech and his target. The crazy thing is time has no idea. Look at time's vision. The last place you would expect a Protoss player to, to re-expand is in his own natural. He might think that he needs to go finish off the buildings, though, I guess. Yeah, that's what might lure him up there. But for now, look at the way Hass is moving. He's yeah. just trying to keep him occupied. And Time is like, what are you doing? He's like, where is your economy? Where? Because he knows, because Hass hasn't been revealed, there has to be a Nexus somewhere. 
And they might it, find that Nexus. Oh my lord. Oh, that's it, interesting. A single pylon in the main, Hass has his production back up. High yeah. Templar tech back up. He just needs to take double gas, which he's just taken on his natural. He's gonna start mining those gases. He sent a probe into the main to oh, repower it. Templar. Yeah, and then he can just warp in High Templar. It's gonna be insane. But, I mean, it's only one or two storms to absolutely win this game. That, that's actually the final SCV, by the way. So this game, at best, <laughs> Well, I mean, Haz can still lose. Yeah, yeah. Time, time can only win if he finds what's going on. Oh, that's a Stargate on. right there! Oh, my gosh. It's just, he already has a Stargate! Yeah, that's a game-winning... If he just gets out a single Phoenix, that alone can take down the barracks in the corner. Haz, and Haz is, is shaving off some units wow. here as well. Wow. The madman Haz, he just knows how to play these down-and-dirty situations. I absolutely love seeing this. Just a player oh my God, and he knows that's the here. final building. He knows that's the final building. Yeah, he's been here before. He's, he's, he's going to be here again. Haz is still not mining gas. Okay, there he goes. He just started, actually. He realized immediately. Oh, my God. Oh, no, he, that was yeah, after yeah, the he's void dumped ray. it into the void ray. He's got that void ray chrono boosting. And finally, <laughs> time sees foul. it. And he goes, oh, man, you've got to. He's got to oh, feel his heart. Oh, he sees the Stargate. He has to know. Oh, man. He knows he's on a timing. He's got to get up there. He has to cut off that Void Ray. The Marines are definitely No, not stimming. the base. He the Void Ray. Realize. He's got to stop that Void Ray getting out. If those Marines don't get on top of that Stargate. He doesn't know. Oh, no. The Void Ray is out. The Barracks is trying to flee for it. It just life. has to set fire to it. The Stalkers are there as well. The Stalkers are going to dive on it. Nothing can stop it. That's going to be it. Has wins. Holy cow. <laughs> what a weird game as time taps out. And the base trade got weird. I'll tell you what, Haz, you make for some fun damn games, man. That was crazy. That might be the first time I've actually seen Haz yeah. shake his head, head off for a game and go, man, that was a crazy game. He's like, even for me, that was really weird. I'll tell you. <laughs> wow.